yeah, so today, got here last night, but today we're here at Obong Cave Resort, and it's uh, a cute little place. You know, it's uh, very tranquil, very quiet. There's some ups and some downs about the place. Uh, location is awesome, way off the beaten path. Uh, the beach, you know, not too bad when the water's out. There's a lot of exposed rock here. But other than that, it's uh, quite quaint. There are a few little issues with the place. Uh, the bathrooms, or in the Philippines, they call them the CRs. They're uh, basically glorified outhouses. So number two is not exactly your best friend, but it's something you would get used to. And the cottage that we stayed in is just a simple triangular hut. And it is fine. I had no problem with, uh, there was not really any bugs or anything, but there were the mat or the foamy that you sleep on is only maybe an inch thick, so tossing and turning all night. Um, but I'm sure if we asked, they would put another bed on top of that bed. And then there's no electricity here during the day unless they run the generator and there's no Wi-Fi unless they run the generator. And I believe the Wi-Fi is very limited to a time. Um, but at night time, in order to keep the air conditioning running in the rooms that have air conditioning, and in order to keep the fans going, so in our hut we had a fan, and to keep that on they run the generator all night. And it's not in a room, it's definitely something you can hear all night long. Which isn't too bad. Morning. Morning it's not too bad sound wise, but uh, you know, if they had it in a room, they would probably knock the sound down quite a bit. And they have caves here. So one's a swimming cave and then they have a bat cave and they have a really good tour through one of the caves with stalagmites and stalactites. And it's, uh, it's it's cool. Um, I didn't do the the walk through smaller caves. It's like a two hour tour because of my leg. But other than that, uh, I went through all the other caves and it was pretty cool. We enjoy. I enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, I mean, recommendation wise, this is a great place to come and hang out for the day. It's quite quiet. They have a little store here, a little sorry sorry store, and they got great little seating areas, but no real comfortability everything's made out of concrete you know some wood chairs there's no padding on them and stuff like that so it's uh it definitely makes makes it far harder to stay on your butt but you know you can always bring chairs i mean when it comes to uh, touring areas in the philippines if you definitely have a uh a starting spot you know like a homestay um, I would recommend trying to pick up camping chairs because even in the sand here, you know, it'd be nice to sit in a chair in the sand because a lot, like I said, a lot of the stuff is made out of concrete or wood, so it's really hard on the butt. And, uh, but other than that, you know, great place. Definitely tranquil.
little swim here. Crab. Bet you're all thinking, where the hell are you going? Well, the secret is around the corner. Look at this place. Please, eh? So I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on the GoPro, but if you look at the way the light comes through the rocks, Along the ground there is the tail, and then it curves up. It's almost like an orca, you know, or a fish. Looks pretty cool. It's scary. Scary, yeah. This is one of the entrance, uh, the, the one that they have a ladder. Okay. Yeah. That's so dark inside. So I guess there's another climbing area yeah you go through here and it'll take you up on top of the mountain area yeah. it's so dark. but it's really small and you do got to do some crawling to get through there and you definitely need a light because it's pitch black but if you want to go inside you're gonna close some look at this place so we were over there, around that point, swimming. Now, we're checking all this out. Apparently, the Japanese used to hide out in caves like this. You can take your vest off if you want. Yeah, take it off. We'll just leave it here. We'll pick it up on the way back.
Might be able to see all the bats that are hanging on there. Saw a few crabs running around. Birds flying. pretty dark so I don't know if the GoPro is gonna catch everything hey should have brought a light because the cave goes way back there but I can't see anything You can sure hear the bats. And then there's another little entrance. To some huts. Somebody who lives around here. Very cool. It's a different uh, resort. resort. That one inside is about to keep. Okay, guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, we appreciate it. Do the same old stuff that every YouTube channel tells you to do. Cheers and peace out. We'll see you on the next one.